right, so I'm trying to set up this lightning network node, so y'all can just watch me work for a little bit just so y'all can see what I be doing, what Crypto Roots be doing in this free time, how I study. So this is by far the most complex thing I've ever done programming wise. So we'll just see how it goes. I think the next step is for me to Alright, so it says the final output of the command should be alright, dope. We did that part. We should install and proceed to install go. All right, it says if it isn't, then the target read. If it isn't, okay, so it is. If it matches, then proceed to install go. All right. Man, I gotta smoke weed to do this, man. This, this requires so much patience and focus and because I don't know how to do none of this stuff. But that's all. But, sorry, I got the weed in my mouth. Um, but that's all I've been doing is this kind of stuff. RB6. So yeah, man, I just be smoking weed because it helps me keep my patience. Because um, that's all programming is, it's just problem solving. So I'm trying to set up this Bitcoin Lightning Network node so I can use it as another stream of passive income and make Bitcoin uh, passively by having my, my Lightning Network node. So as you can see it's complicated man this shit is so complicated I'm hoping I mean I got this far I got this far um, so it's saying it's gonna take a while let me look up the next few steps so Yo, this is about to be crazy, man. This is about to be crazy. I was following this video right here. But this even these look at the instructions for this video, man. This shit's crazy. I got pretty far. Then I realized um I realized that this is probably a better guide to follow because so you always got to read the comments when it comes to programming. It's different. People is different because when you're programming, you learn. What's this? I got a new subscriber. Dope. Um, you're running the problems, and you, see, this is the problem I ran through. Trying very hard uh, to understand, stuck at this command. Yep, I got the same error. And see, if he didn't write a comment. I see uh, he the guy replied with the video and then this guy said oh, okay he figured out the problem and then he gave him this guy so that's why you got to do you just kind of have to just keep figuring it out and 
trying to, you know, I'm not stressed out, but sometimes it's kind of stressful only because I don't really know what I'm doing, <laughs> but I figure it out as I continue to do it. So let me, let's, let me get ready for this next step in this process because it seems like it's almost done. Where were we at? So I think we're right here. I think this is the next code we paste in. A lot of this is copy and paste, but if something doesn't go right, then you're down a rabbit hole, man. And you know, it's crazy. And if you're new to Linux, like I, I'm not super new. As you can see, I got this far, but um, Linux is, it ain't easy, man. It ain't easy. So we waiting for this to install while we smoke one. And this is not a guide to setting up the Lightning Network. This is, this is more to show my audience uh, my study habits and what I, what I do behind the scenes, you know, that I actually walk the walk that I'm talking on camera, you know? I be on the beach and whatnot, uh, but I be, I, be, I be for real with the computer work as well. So, look how much shit I uh, had to go through just to even get to this point. Like, this shit is crazy. I kept having this problem pop up. I'm like, how do I fix this problem? I got this far. I know, it's crazy. This is like the deep developer programmer shit. You know? Hash keys, encryption keys, different packages, data, PPAs. Man, you know. So we almost done. Once we almost done, we're gonna copy this code. We almost there. We almost there. Y'all can fast forward the video. You know what I'm saying? Or you can, or you can light one up. You can light one up with me. Um, I'm as a kid. I just like to stare at the screen while it does what it does for some re weird reason. Unless it's gonna be like forever. But sometimes these countdowns be playing with your mind. Cause they be counting up, then counting down, then counting up again. So, and every line, you you have no idea if it's going to work or not. Like, you're just praying that it works. You know, you're praying that it works. You know, because if it doesn't, you got to figure out why. Uh, okay, cool. So, let's, let's paste this in. All right, let's see this. It says, the final, final out put of the command above should be E F C E S C nine. All right, we're good so far. Um, all right, the final, if it isn't, go matches. All right, we keep moving. We keep moving. Next step. Whew. All right, we got to add it to our path. So let's add it to our path. I'm so glad people make these guides, yo. I'm so glad people make these guides, but even the guides are like ridiculous to follow. All right, so it says if I'm on Mac, use this on free, uh, free, Free BSD. I'll turn only one can download pre code. Install from source, detailed instructions. You should set your go path environment variable, which represents the path to your workspace by default. Go path is set to. You also need to add go path into your path. This ensures that it shows the source. So, 
gotta add it. So the computer gotta know where to look. That's what means adding it to your path. Gotta know where to look. All right, we recommend placing this above in your bash RC or in a setup script that you can avoid typing this every time you open a new window. Go modules is when project uses Go modules to manage dependencies. Builds usage of Go modules. Needs to even more. Needs to go profit to more instead of using LED. Install on LED with the primary steps completed. Install on LED. Get the dependencies and follow commands. Let's see if this works, yo. Let's see if this works. Because if it doesn't, I'm going to be like, damn. Doesn't work. Cannot execute binary file uh, format error. All right. There we go. Problem. End of video. All right. Much love, family. While I solve this problem.